Wait, as election day polls across the tri-state area are now open. Voters will not only be casting their ballot for president, but there are plenty of important local races to talk about today. CBS 2's John Diaz joins us live from a polling site in Bay Ridge with more this morning. John? Yeah, good morning, Chris. Good morning, Mary. As you guys mentioned, polling places now open, and as we all expected, lines already forming, like this one here in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, here at PS264. As you can see, it's actually wraps around the school here. Now, um, already more than 1 million New Yorkers have already voted early, but still today is expected to draw massive crowds at polling places everywhere. After all, many are saying this could be the most important election of our lifetime. On the final night of campaigning in a pandemic, Republican Nicole Milletakis was at the Staten Island Ferry Terminal in Lower Manhattan last night, chatting at voters from the 11th Congressional District. New York City's only swing district covers Staten Island and Southern Brooklyn. The race against incumbent Democrat and Army veteran Max Rose is one of the most contentious in the country. Nicole, she's ending her campaign just as she started it with ridiculous, disgusting lies. There's a tremendous turnout, and I believe it's to send a clear message to Max Rose that people are fed up with the direction of this city. The contest for the 15th Congressional District in the South Bronx pits a history-making councilman against a Republican trying to beat the odds. Democrat Richie Torres is New York City's youngest city council member trying to become the first Afro-Latino openly gay member of Congress. His opponent, Patrick DeLisis, is running as a conservative conservative and has never held public office. I'm a rational Republican and I'm a compassionate conservative. My focus is make housing more affordable, put people back to work. The 17th district, which spans parts of Westchester and Rockland, is getting a new representative, Democrat Mondaire Jones. I won't stop until we make health care affordable. Is up against Republican Maureen McCardle Shulman. The mob has taken over. And on Long Island, longtime Republican Peter King is retiring. So it's State Assemblyman Republican Andrew Garbarino versus Democrat Town Councilwoman Jackie Gordon in the second congressional district. Scientist Nancy Goroff is trying to prevent Republican incumbent Lee Zeldin from a fourth term in the first congressional district. And in New Jersey, voters will decide whether to legalize recreational marijuana for adults 21 and older. And even if that does pass, it could take years to set up the industry. And a live look back here in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, you can see some of these voters now starting to trickle in here in PS at 264 to cast their ballot. As you can see, most have their masks on, trying to socially distance. They're letting only a certain amount of people actually inside the building at one time. Now, when it comes to the absentee ballots, uh, you know, it could take a couple of days or even weeks. Well, we could find out about the results of these winners because of the absentee ballots within days and weeks because all those still have to be counted. Uh, we're allowed to this morning from Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.